Hey guys, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to my channel. I'm back in the kitchen again. <laughs> Today I'm going to be making pineapple juice with ginger and lemon. So I'm excited to see how this is going to turn out. Um, if you want to also learn or see how you can make your own homemade pineapple juice, keep watching this video. I'm going to be showing you guys step by step how you can make your own homemade natural pineapple juice. Do not forget to like, comment, share, and most importantly, if you have not already subscribed, subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Keep watching. Here I'm peeling the skin off the pineapple. I will be utilizing the skin of the pineapple to make this drink. Cut the pineapple into pieces and cut the core, which is also called the vein off. Some people don't really use this, but I am going to be using this in my pineapple drink because I ain't about to waste anything. <laughs> So after I cut the vein off, I'm going to cut all the skin off properly. As you guys can see, there's still pineapple skin on the pineapple. I'm just cutting all the skin off and cleaning up, clean it up properly <laughs> and make sure that I cut everything off. So my pineapple is all peeled, ready to cut into small pieces to blend. I'm washing the pineapple skin under running water. I also use one cock of vinegar um, just to reassure me that the pineapple skin is properly washed and clean. That's just my thing. <laughs> I like to use vinegar when I'm washing like things that has dirt on it or living insects or bacteria. After that, you make sure you want to make sure that you wash your pineapple skin more than once, and then you're gonna leave it to soak for a couple seconds before you boil it. Okay, now I'm putting my pineapple skin to boil. You want to put the stove on medium and let it boil for 45 minutes to an hour or until the skin of the pineapple is soft. You also want to leave it to cool off when once it's finished boiled. So in the meantime, I'm going to cut up my pineapple into small pieces and put them inside my blender. So now I'm cutting up my ginger. I mean the video is going a little bit fast but that's not pineapple, that's ginger. <laughs> I'm cutting up the ginger into small pieces. And you want to use a lot of ginger guys because the ginger brings out the flavor, let it taste more real and more tasty, you know. <laughs> okay, now I am going to add the juice from the pineapple that has been boiled I'm going to pour the, the water on into the blender I'm just going to blend everything together I'm also now I'm adding the pineapple skin because it's boiled and it's soft and it's okay to blend
Now I'm going to blend everything together and you should blend it until it looks like liquefied. Or if you have a blender like mine, which is the Ninja Blender, then you know that it blends very fast and easy. So it should blend for, I would say, a couple seconds, a few seconds. So, yeah. <laughs> Okay, now it's all blend. I'm taking out the middle part of the blender, which is the blade. And then I am going to strain it, guys. So you get a bowl. Oh, I'm adding my lime. I should add the lime in before, but to be honest, I totally forgot. But you can add the lime anytime before or after. It doesn't matter. And um, yes, I'm now going to strain it in the strainer. So you want to get like a container. I didn't, I have a bowl, so I'm just going to strain it off in my bowl. And um, yeah, then you should get all the juice without the, without any chunks or any lumps into it. Because you're straining it through the strainer, right? So you're just going to have the pure juice. Look at that guys, that's the pineapple juice. Now I am going to add some brown sugar. I would say one and a half scoop of brown sugar. And this is the real cane they used to make the, the real sugar. <laughs> so yes, I'm adding one and a half cup of brown sugar just to sweeten it a little bit. I mean, you don't have to add brown sugar into yours because the pineapple is sweet, right? But I had add some more water into mine. So that's the reason why I'm adding a little bit of brown sugar just to, you know, give it that nice sweet taste. But like I said, you don't have to add brown sugar into yours. You can just drink it natural like that. And there you have it guys, my pineapple juice made and ready to drink. Let me know what you guys think of this video. Please give me a thumbs up and comment down below. Do not forget to like, comment, share and most importantly, subscribe to my channel. Bye!